Hi, I'm Lisa Nichols, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a crystallization of a solid. I'm going to take some impure NBS, which is N bromo succinamide, and it shouldn't be orange, but it is. So, we're going to clean that up using crystallization. The solvent is going to be water, and I'm going to use a hot plate. Here, I've assembled my materials, and I've weighed out roughly a gram of orange impure NBS solid. Since this is pretty small scale, I'm going to use beaker, small beakers, small Erlenmeyer flask, and I'm going to be using water as my solvent. So I'll first put some water into a small beaker, and this is going to go on the hot plate to heat. Uh, next though, I add a few boiling stones to this. And boiling stones are little pieces of rock that ensure that you have a smooth controlled boil so that there aren't any unexpected bumps or bubbles that uh, erupt kind of vigorously. So I'll put that on the hot plate and turn it up and bring that to a controlled boil. Next to be ready, I'm gonna stick my impure solid into this little tiny Erlenmeyer flask. I've weighed it out on some glossy weighing paper, which means it's gonna slide pretty easily into the flask. You wanna use the right size flask for your uh, crystallization as well. And that sometimes takes some experimentation to figure out what's the right size for the scale that you're using. My water has come to a mild controlled boil, and so I'm ready to pour some of that into the impure solid. For really small flasks, uh, here's something that you can do to hold on to them. Uh, you of course can't just like grab a hot flask, it's gonna hurt your hands. But if you take a paper towel, a, a stretch of it, and you roll it around a couple times, and then crease it, you can turn it into basically a thick stretch of paper towel. This is what I call a paper towel holder. And if you um, uh, flip that around, you can uh, position it around a beaker or an Erlenmeyer or any sort of flask and you can grab onto it. And so this is a nice way to hold onto small things. So I'm going to take that hot water and I'll pour a portion of that into my impure solid. I'll then return the water back to the hot plate to keep it, keep it hot. So this is now, um, I'm going to put it on the hot plate. And since I'm going to do the crystallization inside that flask, I'm going to use a, a boiling stick or a wood splint instead of boiling chips. And it's because it's something that can easily be removed. After a short amount of heating, you want to inspect the, um, the solid and see how it's doing. Our goal is to uh, add just enough solvent to get the solid to dissolve. So you can pick it up and swirl it. If you find that the flask is getting too hot for you, you can use the paper towel holder to grab it and um, you know swirl it around. Uh, I didn't find that it was too hot for at the beginning, so I can just use my hands and grab it and swirl it every once in a while. But once that water or the solvent starts to uh, boil and you still see solid, that means you don't have enough solvent. So in portions, you're gonna take your hot solvent and add it and swirl it. You're gonna add it in portions until you just have enough where the solid dissolves. Let's add a little bit more. We do want the minimum amount of solvent to reduce the amount that is going to be eventually lost in the uh, solution. So I see little hints of um, solids still on the sides, so I'll add another portion. Give it another swirl, rinse the sides. And I think at this point, it looks pretty good to me. I think it's completely clarified. I don't see any more solid. So I'm gonna say that that is done. So I'm gonna take my paper towel holder and pull it off. Do you see how all the solid has been dissolved? And then I'll put it off to the side. The crystallization is gonna work the best if you allow the solution to cool slowly. So to help that along, you can set your solution on top of a few paper towels um, or folded Kim wipes. 
and that will insulate it from the counter. You can also remove that wood splint, we don't need that anymore, and then put a watch glass over the top. Since I'm expecting to form a white solid, I decided to switch out the white background for some folded up paper towels instead. It'll help us see the white solid better. As you cool the solution, crystals should naturally start forming at some point, but it's not uncommon that they have a hard time getting started. If you touch the flask and you realize that it's not hot, but it's only like slightly warm and there's still no crystals, you may need to get it started. The way to do that is to take a glass stirring rod and scratch the bottom of the flask. And that will normally initiate crystallization. Once you see solid, solid forming, the process is on its way and you can let it go and do its thing. You'd wanna let it crystallize all on its own until the solution is at room temperature. Let's say the mixture has now cooled to room temperature. You'd next wanna cool it further in an ice bath. So to make an ice bath, get a tub of ice and add some water to it. You want there to be an ice slash water slurry. Then if you're gonna use a rinse later, you can put uh, some of the rinse solvent into the ice bath as well and then put your crystals in there also. And let them cool in the ice bath for at least five minutes. And the solid could be later recovered using suction filtration. 